Hey guys, um, it's me again. Now, this is going to be a Photoshop tutorial. Um, I know I haven't done quite a lot of, I haven't done recent, um, Xcode tutorials. Because my developer membership has expired and then now I just renewed it. I know I can still develop without having it the free version of Xcode, but I just preferred it to be like that. <clears throat> so, the tutorial I'm doing today is going to make, a um, not actually an SDK tutorial, but you can like leave in the comments section below um, what SDK tutorial you want me to do, and I'll try and do it. You know, I haven't been coding that much, because since my developer has expired, I haven't been coding often anymore, so, um... Yeah. So today's video is going to make a look-alike of this App Store icon. We're not going to add, you know, this, like this. Actually, we can add this, um, this round thing, but this App Store icon is a little bit, you know, hard. So we're just going to start off here, yeah. Create a new project, and then let's just leave it as... 5, 12 pixels. <clears throat> um, this can also be used as app icons, but I'm just going to do, you know, different. So, we're going to just fill the layer with black, because this is going to be the background, and the, the icon goes in the middle. So then we're going to create a new layer. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Whoops. And one thing that is really, like, annoying, by the way, you really don't care, but my left option key has, like, broken off and, like, try to put it back on, but it's still broken off. Because my baby brother, like, slapped the keyboard. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. Um, so, create a new layer. Call layer 1 background. Sorry for my voice. I just like woke up and then I like my throat sore. And then this we're going to call the starburst. <coughs> fill the background in the thing. Oh yeah. Before f sorry, fill the background with black. Um if you like the simple way is just go to this little icon there click option delete and then it fills up with black black bleh sorry um then go to the starburst layer and then now we're just going to choose the colors where we want it to be as a starburst i'm going to set the background color to be like a darkish blue and then the foreground a light blue Around about there's good. And then now we're going to pick up the gradient tool and choose foreground to background. Make sure it's not the um the linear one, radial. Sorry. Yes, linear. Yeah. And then go from the top of the document. Hold down shift and drag down. And then you have this sort of shape. Now go to filter and then distort. Then select wave. Now you're going to set it to this. Um, number of generators 15. Minimum 5 and then 35. I think that's. Oh, uh, triangle uh, 170. I think this is 10 and 50. Yeah. And then now I'm going to filter again. Distort polar coordinates. Look at that. That's lit OK. And then now we're just going to like free transform tool. Hold down shift and then alt. And then I'm just going to make this slightly bigger. I don't know why it's not really responding. Uh, anyways. Um, now we are going to do like... Um, What's it? 
Oh yeah, the, the oh, like rounded edge of the icon. Go to um, shape tool, select the rounded rectangle tool, select radius to 40, and then choose like this mask shape layers thing. And then go where approximately you think is right. And then we're gonna use our tools to help that align it into the center with our rulers and grid and stuff like that. And then now we're going to drag this layer below that and then select this uh, and then hold down command and then select this thing there and then click this mask button here create mask and then now you have this so we're just gonna you know, get that out of the way and then now we have this thing yeah now I'm going to make a new layer call that shine or reflection or something and call it shine and go to elliptical marquee tool and then select this um, starburst layer this mask thing hold down shift and then alt oh, whoops make sure to have that selected that's very important shift and option and then drag it right about oh god why does this keep happening right about there and then now we're going to go to um, um, black and white change the layer and then now we're going to go to gradient tool make sure the shine um, thing is selected and select foreground to transparent select from above the document to around the center of the document and then now we have that shine thing so I'm just going to save it here onto my desktop saying um, iPhone app icon. I'm just like do it like that. And then now we are going to make use a clips tool. Yeah, clips. Make this circle. And then holding down shift. Mm. That. You know, it should be there probably. Um, I think I'm not too sure, but I think yeah. Fill pixels. And then select that main layer. Align it into the center. And then click stroke. Oh wait, no, before you do stroke, you should, um, on the circle, change your opacity to zero, and then hit stroke, hmm, oh wait, no, sorry, uh, I don't know why this um but anyway we don't have to go into this big confusion thing so once this main design is done you can just start adding whatever you want to it so what I'm going to do is just add some text here and then just say iPhone SDK developer Um, change it. I'm just gonna choose this font. 
You don't have to watch this bit, but I'm just going to do this for the sake of this video. And then now, I'm going to run it into the center. Add some effects to it. Drop shadow. Mm, run up there. And that's good. Let's just make that slightly bigger. There we go. There's our final results. So if you like it, subscribe, rate, and comment. You don't have to comment, but subscribe and rate. So, that has been uh, my first Photoshop tutorial about making an app icon. And then, you know, if you want to do has, have it as an actual app icon, like, without this rounded rect and the shine, because Apple does that automatically, they add the rounded rect and the shine and stuff. So just try to, like, don't do the mask. Just do the gradient, then the wave, then the polar coordinates, and then you're done. Then just add whatever you want in the image. Don't do any of these mask things. So, thank you very much, guys. Subscribe, rate, comment. Bye.